Hi. Hello, everybody. This is Kim McMahon here. I am here with Daniel, and we are at State of Open Con, and he came by the FreeBSD booth here and was telling me about how much he loved FreeBSD. So I'm going to turn this a little bit. Hi. Tell I'm us. one of those uh, mythical beasts who actually runs FreeBSD as a, as a daily driver for my average laptop desktop big that experience. Is not all that mythical i'm finding <laughs> i've talked to quite a few people here who are running it uh, and their day-to-day -day. but tell me like so why why did you choose free bsd for your desktop well um, your laptop? i had been a vanilla windows user and um for years and i think what happened was i saw a video of from the 70s of brian kernigan with his feet on the desk and i thought <laughs> this guy looks really cool. What is this thing they call the command line? And it kind of spiraled out of control from there. And uh, I got sick of the whole, yeah, Microsoft thing. I wasn't, didn't want to per persevere with that anymore. So I, I, I don't know, found out about FreeBSD somewhere, you know, alternative operating systems. And it was like, right, let's, let's try this out. Exciting. And I wanted something that was really customizable, that just had a base system that was simple. I could then put, you know, my own whatever tiling manager or everything I wanted on it, and I'd just be up and away and be able to use it for standard things, a bit of software development, and, and that. And it's it's been great. Um, yeah, yeah. So this is your day to day. FreeBSD is your day to day. Yeah. That's yeah, awesome. I mean I, that that I think I first installed it in 2018 and I've not used anything else since. I've not done any distro hopping or anything like that. I think a couple of times I've used like a a live uh Linux distro just for testing uh compatibility of of software, but like apart from that it, it, I've stuck with it and it's been great. I mean, there there was learning curve. There was a very big learning curve, and but I think I've got the hang of it now. I can I can at least feel my way around and and just poke at things until they start working. Uh, I mean, I don't know if you if you want me to focus on any negatives, but like I can I can tell you a few like ah uh, moments. But you know, overall, I yeah I I really enjoyed it, and um, it's fantastic. That's why I'm you know happy to to evangelize about it on this video. <laughs> Excellent. Well, thank you so much for talking with me. And um, uh, Daniel was showing me uh, his, his system up and running. So we are going to do a second video when we both, when we all get back home and on our Zoom call and can share screens more appropriately. And we'll, we'll show some little coding experiments, not experiments, demos. So thank you all. Brilliant. Say bye. 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 <laughs> thank you. That was amazing.